case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In United States v. Lipscomb, a 1983 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, the court examined the admissibility of prior felony convictions as evidence to challenge the credibility of a defendant or witness. Michael Lipscomb, who was convicted of intending to distribute heroin, appealed the decision. During the trial, the admissibility of prior felony convictions was scrutinized, and three defense witnesses were impeached by their prior convictions. The district court deemed the prior convictions admissible, despite the lack of information about the facts and circumstances underlying them. Lipscomb argued that such information was necessary for the district court to determine if the conviction was probative of a witness's credibility and if it outweighed the prejudicial effect, while the government argued it was irrelevant. The majority held that the trial court had discretion on how much background information it required and did not abuse its discretion in this case. The court affirmed Lipscomb's conviction, stating that the credibility of defense witnesses was essential, as both the prosecution and defense presented conflicting versions of the events leading to the arrest. Ultimately, the court ruled that Lipscomb, Smith, Green, and Little's prior convictions were properly admitted as evidence. It dismissed an argument regarding nolo contendere pleas and decided that the probative value outweighed any potential prejudice. The court allowed impeachment of Little and Smith and deemed Lipscomb's and Green's convictions admissible without severely affecting credibility. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.